Guys, what's up? It's Brian back here again with another guitar tutorial from Young Blood. Uh, we're doing a song called Strawberry Lipstick. And uh, before I even started today, I started getting requests for this song. So I figured I might as well do it. Uh, if this video helps you out, I hope you'll like and subscribe. And let me know other Young Blood songs you want to learn on guitar. There are a bunch on this channel. Go check those out. Uh, if you search Young Blood, B Martin Sounds, all one word in the description box. Um, you know, and the, all that stuff should pop up, all right? Uh, what we're doing here is, uh, first off, we're going to put a capo on the first fret. And we're going to start with E, 022100. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? And then we're going to rest for one beat and go on this D, 554000. And then go back to E. All right. So this D is a dark D. Five five four zero zero zero. When you play this, you only want to play kind of the top three strings here. But it should work out fine because all you're doing is downstrokes here. So you go E two three four E two three four E two three four rest D D D. Okay. And then you do that three times. Two, four, 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 two. Uh, then you'll go to the chorus. This is C, C sharp minor. Four, four, six, six, five, four. All right, so you're going to go one, two, three, four. G sharp, four, six, six, five, four, four. One, two, three, four. We're going to do A, just move up one fret for everything. Okay, and then go to E. So it's C sharp minor, D sharp. Okay, back to A, back to E. Sorry. Uh, and then I think you do that a couple times, and then I think it goes back to B, and then it goes back to your verse again. So E two. Uh, so you do the back and forth a couple of times, C sharp minor, instead of going E down here, you could also go E up here, so you go, and that's going to be, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, Seven nine 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 seven. Okay, or seven seven nine nine seven seven. Um, which is what how I normally play it. So there's gonna be a time where it sounds like it sounds like this, but it's actually gonna be like this. Right? And so how to do that? Uh you're on C sharp minor. Okay, but you're only going to play the 4th fret A and the 6th fret G, and really try to just strum those, those 2 or 3 strings there. Then move up 2 frets, then move up 1 more fret. Okay, go back to E, so... So that is, uh, that's a part that kind of comes towards the end uh, of the song. If you don't want to do that, you can continue to play, right? You can still do that as well. Um, so just know that that's a possibility. For strumming pattern for that part, I'm just going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. up. So it's not really a complicated strumming pattern. It's not really even a complicated, um, you know, chord progression, except for the fact that, you know, you got a lot of bar chords to deal with. Uh, and then a couple of these little open power chords. Right. 
So, um, you know, again, I'm, I'm not putting my right hand in a lot of this video because, you know, for the first part, you're just downstrokes. Right? And then for the second part, you just go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Right? So that's it. Uh, cool. Hopefully this video helped you out. Give it a like down below. Comment on what you want to learn. You can subscribe right here. Check out some other videos down here. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon.